All right, we're back here on Study Ball. And uh, earlier in the week, I took a look at the New York Giants from last Thursday night and some of the things that they did uh, that I believe really affected the game and their opportunity to win the game. Uh, today, we're going to look at the Washington football team. And although they won the game, we're going to look at a bunch of opportunities that they had that almost cost them the game. Again, I'm all about details, details, details. We can always look at the positive things because both teams did a lot of positive things. But I'm always about trying to teach through the things that we didn't do well enough. So next time around, we do it a little bit better. We're attention to details and, and we're able to make the plays that we didn't make last week because that's what makes us a better football team. So let's take a look at the Washington football team. All right, start right here. We're going to motion across like the concept. Let's notice we get a middle close, meaning there's one safety in the middle of the field. We're going to run a double seam concept here. We're a go concept, all three of these guys in that direction. ID here, two on one off of this safety, which is exactly what we get right here. And here you see it. You got opportunities, either one. You got this seam right here, or you've got this seam right here. This safety just playing depth. You've got an opportunity on both sides to hit this. Missed opportunity right here. Ball back behind. Logan Thomas almost intercepted, but we miss an opportunity for a chunk play. Again, hidden yardage is so huge in National Football League games. Uh, let's come back here, a little play action. And here's the thing, I, I'm not sure why so quickly. Okay, so makes a play fake here, looking at the skinny post, back to this side. Okay, I'm all for that. And then on the other side, he's got a big post, and a stutter wheel right here. So he looks at the backside in or post. I get it, doesn't like it because this guy drops underneath. No problem. Now, patience, get back to the front side and take a peek. Take a peek, look at this right here. Look at right there, we got an opportunity for a man, I don't know, a big play, maybe a touchdown. Said we're dropping the dump off very quickly. So what I like to do is come back, play action right here, you look at it. Okay, you don't have it bounce back in the pocket. Okay, once you don't have the quick one, bounce back in the pocket and survey the other side, knowing that where this safety is initially, but survey that. And again, you don't have to peek at everything, just survey it, know you have this and this coming, bounce back and you got an opportunity to get that big one down to the check down. So again, gets to the check down. All right, we get a completion, we get four or five yards, but man, look at that opportunity right there for a big play. If you just Buy yourself a little bit of time and a little bit of depth and take a peek. Hidden yardage, hidden yardage, hidden yardage. We'll play action right here. And nice chunk throw, nice chunk throw. But as we come back, quarterback's always looking at rotation of safeties. This guy running back here, this guy's playing a deep half, so they're playing what we call an inverted cover two. So they're basically inverting the front side and running over the top. Anytime we see middle open, we got a clearing route down the middle, we get the play action, we get the linebackers to hold up. Boom, look at this. Look at that shot right there. And again, we get a completion. We get 22 yards here. That's awesome. It's a great throw up over the linebacker. It all works. But see the rotation off of the play action. And man, you might have yourself a touchdown here. Difference making plays in games. Man, it's huge, and that's always the first thing we want to peek. When we've got play action coming here, we want to peek at whatever replaces that. This is what replaces that. If we get those guys to pull up, that's what replaces it as long as the middle is open. Take that peek first, and then you can recover to that in and still make that play. Nice catch to go up and get it, and we get 22 yards, but hidden yardage, missed an opportunity for maybe a bigger one. All right, here we go right here. All right, so they've got a corner out, and then they're running basically that same concept here, an in and a shallow corner route over there, all right? So as we come back, what we're always looking for as a quarterback is I wanna see the backside. Backside guy is down at about five yards. So I know there's nobody else back here as long as that guy stays down. So same idea, we're gonna come back, I'm gonna peek this guy, see what he does. He goes here and covers this corner. Man, so I've got to, when that middle's close, I gotta peek 
this guy right after. I got to make sure that that guy stays down. Once he stays down, man, I'm going to look here and again, can always recover back to my in and shallow off of that side. But look at this. Holy cow. Look at that opportunity right there just off of a basic read. No protection issues. Already getting to his check down there instead of seeing the big picture, understanding what you have before the snap and going and getting yourself a touchdown right there. I mean, it's already open at this point right here. It's open. You've got it right there for a touchdown. Patience in the pocket, understanding the big picture, and don't miss those opportunities. Okay, here we go again. And we've got, we call, little hook route back to the backside. And then front side, we've got hook, hook, swing. So again, we're gonna get a completion here. And we're gonna go and they're gonna rally up and we get no gain right here. But what I want you to see is it's all about numbers. See the numbers, see the numbers, see the numbers, see the numbers. One, two defenders to the weak side. Backside hash on that side of the ball. One, two receivers over there. This side, one, two defenders. One, two, three receivers. Game is a game of numbers. No matter what you do, no matter what's going on at the end of the day, where are my numbers? My numbers are to this side. My numbers are right here. They can't cover all three of them. See the rotation, see the numbers, get it out to where you have an advantage offensively. Another one, we got double seam concept again. Boom, boom, boom. Read the middle safety, see the middle safety. What does the middle safety do here? Boom, turns and goes this way. Another opportunity right there. Now we're already throwing our check down. Patience, got a nice pocket, got an opportunity for a big time play, game changing type play. Again, I'm all about completions. Completions are better than anything, um, you know, from a negative standpoint. But man, don't pass up the opportunities, especially when you don't even give it a chance. He doesn't even hitch on this one. He's coming back, hitting the back foot and throwing it without even giving his guy a chance to go get the touchdown. I'm telling you, against good teams, those are difference-making type plays. All right, this one initially I had actually tweeted, and I thought this was on McLaurin, but it's not. So what they're doing here is they're running a rub. So it's this play. He's trying to rub this guy right here for the back going that direction. Does a nice job of getting in his way. This ball should actually probably be out right now to the back. That guy's that far away. This guy's running a quick swing. Get him the ball right now, especially in the situation they were in, the one-point lead late in the game. Just give it to him. Give it to him and make the guy make the tackle. Okay, second part is once this happens, be patient on this throw. He tries to rub, and in trying to rub, he's trying to avoid, and he never gets to the inside of this corner. And this ultimately is why this gets intercepted here is because his goal on the initial set is my job is I got to get inside this corner. So this corner has to come through me to get the football. But because of the rub, he's got to slow up. So if you're Taylor Heineke, you've got to give him a second. If you're going to, especially if you're going to throw it to the inside, you got to give him a second to reestablish and get in here. So you protect the football in this situation or get it out to the back instead He's just trying to make his move, and you see him bouncing back. He's not even set, and we're trying to make this throw. Allows Bradbury to get in the middle of it and get that interception and almost cost them the game. So you see it right there. How many missed or hidden yards were in that game? Yards or plays that could have put this thing away a lot earlier. Big play after big play after big play. Detail after detail after detail things that change the complexion of games. So just a quick peek at, at what I saw last Thursday night. Washington football team missed a lot of opportunities. Uh, New York Giants missed a lot of opportunities. Both of them had plenty of chances to win this football game. And so you can say whatever you want, you say it was this play, that. Man, there are so many plays within a game that determine whether you win or lose in the National Football League. Both of these teams had plenty of them. If they just make one different play, do they coach something a little bit different? Scheme is a little bit different. One of these teams has another win. The other team has another loss. And that is the difference in the National Football League. Always pay attention to the details.